Hello and welcome everyone to this video on using CDS views in ABEB Phase Zarentic. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentic YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell you what are CDS views and how can I create a CDS view. Then how we can use this CDS view as a source in our ABEB programming. So see. In using CDS view, we are required to use the HANA database. Now, what is a HANA? So, in simple, HANA is a database with much more features as compared to a database. It is faster, has multiple parallel processing, and it has ability to perform the data manipulation in the database layer itself. So, comparing with normal views, what we see in a view, we simply fetch out data from our tables using views. But instead of that, CDS views provide us an extra features that we can perform manipulation on the database layer itself. That's why CDS views are much more important as compared to normal views. Now, how a CDS view look like? So see, how we can create a CDS view. I have created a view here. First, there is an annotation. And this annotation, whatever name we will provide, you will see a normal view getting created from your GUI. Simply copy it, just uh, go to SC11, SC11, select the view and paste it here and click on display button. See, a normal view, a DDL SQL view has been created here and with the same fields that you have used. The see here, the fields that you have used, the same view has been created here. Now see this particular CDS view. Yeah, now see this particular CDS view. I have used parameters P underscore VVL and I have given a data element value here from table VBAK and I am fetching out five fields and I am using in this where condition for the input value that our user will be giving to us. Now simply click on execute button. Simply click on execute button and give any input. Suppose I am giving input one. Click on OK. Here, no data is being fetched. OK, no issue. Mainly, you will get, get how you will see this is how we create a CDS view. Simple, we start with define view, then the name of the view. After that, we use with parameters, then the parameter that we will provide here. Then after the source name, table name, after that all the fields that you want to fetch, then using the where condition. Now simple. See this particular view. I have simply used the VBLN value here. Just copy this. Now go to this particular view here. And click on execute button just give input and click on ok see we have one data we are getting now how you can consume this particular cds view in our web program so simple we i am writing the select query i am fetching the five fields since only five fields are there if you want you can fetch four fields also but you cannot fetch more than the five fields because if you are using this CDS view as a data source, you can see we have only five fields here. And then I am using the data source name, the CDS view. First, I have created a parameter for the same data element. Then I am using this particular CDS view and I am passing the parameter here. Then I am storing this particular in this LT underscore VBAK internal table. Now put a debugger here and click on execute button. 
uh, we will put any. So I am giving one. And click on the link. Just click on this LTVV. Okay, go to desktop three and double click here. See, we are getting the same record that we are getting here. Let me show to you. Uh, no. Just click on execute. Just click. Okay. See, we are getting the same record. Same record that we are getting. So this is how you can consume your CDS view in a web programming. Whenever you will create any CDS view, DDL SQL view will be created in your GUI with the same fields and same join condition. Same join condition you are getting the particular table name. Then the selection condition you can see that we are using the particular parameter that's why its name is being present here. Now what are CDS views? CDS views are a special kind of views which are used to perform manipulation on the database layer itself. So thank you very much. Thank you.